Now let's head straight to the capital market now. Investors lost about 6.0 billion, the 6.04 billion era as the NGX all share index dipped by 0.02% amid negative market breadth dropping the Nigerian exchange index to a new level of 46,766.16 basis point. Equities markets closed yesterday as the all uh, year to date uh, dropped to zero point uh, a beg of pardon nine point four eight percent uh yesterday market break closed negative as uh, regency alliance insurance uh, led 16 gainers as against 18 losers topped by the nigerian police microfinance bank at the end of uh, yesterday's trading sections well market turnover closed positive however as volume moved up by 1.6 percent against 17.28 percent of this recorded the previous section, Fidelity Bank, Transcorp, and Guarantee uh, Bank were the most active to boost market turnover. MTN Nigeria Guarantee and uh, uh, yes, MTN Nigeria and Guarantee uh, topped market value list. And while you look at the Nigerian Police Microfinance Bank leading the list of active stocks that recorded impressive volume spike at the end of uh, yesterday's uh, section. So let's bring in Mr. Ambrose Omodia, his Chief Research Officer, Investor Consulting, he joins us uh, via the telephone. Now, Mr. Ambrose, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for having me. Mm. Now, market lost again yesterday, uh, looks perhaps, um, you know, back from uh, the winning streak we thought the market has returned to uh, the previous section. So what's your take? Hello, Mr. Ambrose. Okay, uh, well, I think uh, we'll have to wait for Mr. Ambrose uh, there. Uh, looking at, um, well, I think we have uh, Mr. Ambrose back online. Thank you for your time, Mr. Ambrose. Thank you for your time. So I was going to ask you what's your take on the performance of the equities market at the close of yesterday's section? Actually, I'll tell you that yesterday market was a, a flatish market in a mixed uh, sentiment. The market was flat yesterday just because you know, investors are still looking at where to put their you know, position or what to take you no know, action as respecting more you no know, companies to have their uh, you know, meet their corporate action needs in terms of uh, payment or adjust their price for the dividend they've announced. And at the same time, all eyes are on, on the Q1 number for 2021. But because of the economy situation, People are still also being careful to see where the economy is also heading, you know, in this uh, Q2. That's why I see a slow down market. But for me, I would tell that the market is still making a, a higher low in terms of movement. But as far as the market is still in this uh, decline stage, investors should apply their work, their stop loss, and other technical you know, tools or indicators to know what to do. I will tell you, anywhere in the world, volatility is what creates wealth, but it is a risky period, and that is why you must play with your, with your stop loss. That is the only way to go. Nobody should you know, panic at the market because we are seeing uh, this observation, but rather, you know, increase your knowledge on how to take advantage of volatility, because that is the beauty of stock market anywhere. But price must move up or down. Only that the rate it moves of this world is not to you know, investors consign. It is fast, it becomes uh, a risky no one, but when you see that it's stable and gradual, there's also another strategy to play this volatility market, which we'll discuss in our last master class. But I believe that you no know, investors in our market here should not panic because we are seeing that as at the you know, 2021 end of the year, most of the companies they posted positive and robust earnings and that will support their price. But we want to see how they are starting the new financial year of 2022 with their Q1. That is why valuation is going on in the market now. That's why it's a big kind of uh, caution because people are going to see the Q1 number to conclude where to jump in, knowing that this is election year. For me, the market is not doing badly, but rather we should cop our game by having uh, you know, those uh, tools that are able to manage our risk. Technically, what's the direction of the market at the moment? Uh, especially if you look at the performance of some of the uh, sectors at the, across all sectors at the close of yesterday's session. No, as I said yesterday, you can see that uh, no, it's only um, two, uh, two uh, companies were really flat. One was the um, you know, um, consumer price index that lost about uh, 0 0.4 something, 4.3, and the industrial you know, goods was flat. 
but banking sector the shark and oil was in green. It tells you that also people are looking at let's see the number. Despite that yes, uh, we're expecting a um, markdown in that industry, the banking sector, people are taking action because payment day for them to earn money to go back to that stock because the markdown. It's also opportunity. I told you that yesterday, you know, most of the shares out of the banks went back you know, to their banks to collect their dividend, robust dividend for that. Also today we're expecting EPA to do the same thing. As they're earning this money, some of them will plug back to, to their position to increase their they are taking the bank. That is why it is. For me, there is no time, or, um, no time for everybody to put me uh, panic at all because I see that, yes, caution should be applied because market is still in a decline phase, technically. Mm. So, so technically, you are saying it, we are still in the green zone? No, no, technically, no, market is in a decline phase. I mean, in a technically, because market has broken down the 47,000 you know, mark, of, you know, which I said earlier, that once really, it doesn't enter and form a decline phase of the market. But that does not mean that the market is crashing. And the market and that people are taking profit. Once they see positive information, it will change the trend of the market. Oh, and that's what I'm looking forward to see the first quarter result. But this is the time for people to play safe with what the defensive stocks. What are some of the sectors or stocks that you think investors can play and why should they play in that kind of market? No, well, I'm looking at the we're seeing uh, as far as having a construction gap in Nigeria, the, the, the construction and the building material is meant you know very good for any investor to play because those sectors also serve as defensive for, for you. Because as far as they are going to grow their earnings, even when the market is shaking or this violation year, I see activities in that sector to you know, to support their price, especially stuff like uh, no, if it's the construction company, they know it. That I don't, I don't recommend stock online. But stock like those in that construction sector, you know, in the, in the industrial you know, goods, these are where you can put your money now. And also look below the of the telecoms. Telecoms, because you know, every, every economy of the world is going digital. As they're going digital, they will know more consumption of what? Of data. That tells you that apart from the credit they are selling, data is another market. And don't forget that most of them here are also expanding their frontier to bring in a, a higher, you know, G5 to speaking their internet system that also drives by a uh, customer to them because if their uh, internet is stable and fast this is where i see that that sector is also a good one also don't forget that healthcare sector is a very key sector to look at because of the nature of their product and at the same time because also nigeria also are giving attention the government giving attention to the sector because of covid uh, post covid 19 activities for me it's a good one and also cbn has also finally uh, finally also extended their their one digit uh, interest rate still Next year, for me, it's a good one for this uh, sector. And banking sector, any time, anywhere, is the engine room of any economy. But one can play it also with uh, information. We saw Regency Assurance, um, Alliance Insurance uh, coming, uh, topping, or leading the, uh, the gainers chart at the close of yesterday with about three kobo. That's about a 10% gain at the close of uh, Wednesday's market. Livestock coming in the second place there with about 14 kobo. Multiverse are also doing very well there. But Maya again came back uh, strongly yesterday with about 8 kobo uh, to sustain the previous uh, uh, the trading sections of about 8.86% uh, in the green. So what do you think it's... Uh, you know, drawing support for this particular stock, uh, especially with Maya. If you look at the stock we just mentioned, they are all local stocks. And I tell you, when investors are looking at the uh, where to, to look at this season, because their local stock, little funds can equally move their price up. That's why you know, the recent investors are the one playing this uh, local stock as we speak now. Also, those that are technical traders, seeing that most of them are going to their support level and those that has potential to go up rally, they are jumping like stock like livestock. Livestock have suffered losses because they released the result without dividend. It pulled back. Now it's going up because they have touched the support level. People are catching it at the local to go up. That is for my stock. But for agency, I tell the teller that we expect that the reform and the reform and the capitalization in the industry uh, general sector is likely to impact positively on their performance generally. That is a good investor is already taking advantage of that to buy into this local stock. But I tell you that institutional investor, patient fund will not be buying into such a local stock because if they enter, they move the price up when they are going for that. They look at those liquid stocks that like in the banking sector, they work for that industry like uh, you know, the industrial goods, telecom, banking, you know, healthcare. No way they know that. So for me, insurance you know, will play out with time, but there are some few insurance stocks that they are okay that insurance investor can play. But for now, the ones that have talked to the, the, the general start for yesterday, I see those of us those with the investors uh, activities. Okay, so do you see any sign of investors selling up their position in this stock soon? 
No, no, there are certain things that uh, once you make profit, I say that profit taking is part and parcel of the equity market. Once you make your target, you are going to go. If you have made 10%, another 10%, is 50%, 18 and 20%, you are going to take profit. And that's why the price was going to oscillate because they are low cap stocks. Mm. Now, the, 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 on the flip side, um, Nigerian police force, of course, uh, I mean, came back uh, into the red yesterday because if you look at it again, the previous day, the stock went down with about uh, 24 kobo, and yesterday again it lost about 22 kobo, uh, dropping to about two nara. Uh, so, so in, in about two trading sections now, the uh, shares of uh, MPA, Nigerian Police Force Microfinance Bank, has lost about um, you know more than 25 kobo or so, almost 25 kobo, uh, you know. As so as at today, so what do you think? It's uh, perhaps um, uh, you know. Uh, making this stock to go down, and uh, what do you think is the direction of this stock going forward? No, people like me and also technical traders know how to trade such stock. A stock that declared a uh, dividend of uh, 10 kobo and bonus of 1 for 9 or 2 for 9. That mm. stock is looking for a support because they are not the bonus. People that have entered lower price and they touch 2 naira, uh, like 51 kobo, they took profit and they brought the stock there. Then you will now be targeting when will you enter? Is it at this 2 naira? Or five kobo or at one naira or ninety kobo. That is why market look at it today at the time of penning because also the closure date for the stock is still ahead. I see that it's opportunity for people that want to take advantage of the bonus and the men to buy into the stock. That means even more nine and it was up. It just market the gentleman that is going to the, the, the company of the match for 2021 was excellent. Well, that their payout was a big sale, no below expectation because they have uh, any pressure that they are likely to pay, especially like twenty kobo. And for now, they are giving them people with a bonus of one for nine, two for nine. That is that they you know, respect the market to react at the, at the, at the, at the, you know, at the appropriate time. Because when they are towards the mark of mark down date or position date, the price will also eat up. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's all right. Uh, let's look at today's uh, trading. Um, it's the fourth trading day of the week, and uh, of course, just one more day to go. Uh, so, w what's the direction for today and for the rest of the week as we wrap up now? Yeah, for today, I, 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 I told you that we expect uh, that uh, there are some stocks that we are trusted for their dividend stocks like MTN. And when such happen in the market today, it's more likely to pull the stock down. But let's expect a risk trend. For this week, you know, the month this week, and today, as you said, today is Thursday. For the rest of let's expect a risk trend. But as from next week, we'll start seeing a pay one number coming from the early filers. It might decide to change the trend of the market. Well, on this note, I want to thank you very much, Mr. Ambrose Amodin. He's a Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consulting Limited. Thank you for your time on Business Breakfast.